Rod Rosenstein, the man who selected and regulates exceptional advice Robert Mueller, has profound family binds to the Clintons and his significant other has been uncovered as a long-haul Clinton and Obama lawyer who has chipped away at several cases for the Democratic Foundation figures. Lisa Barsoumian, who has some expertise in guarding freedom of information suits, is situated in Washington, D.C., what's more, has spoken to Robert Mueller three times, the FBI five times, previous President Obama 45 times, previous President Clinton 40 times, and Hillary Clinton 17 times. Alongside her supervisor, R. Craig Lawrence, she is the go-to lawyer for the Democratic Foundation in D.C. She has made her living protecting the Vogue and keeping the general population from accessing data about the Obama organization that they are qualified for under the Freedom of Information Act. Yet, more critically, she is the spouse of Rod Rosenstein, the man who named Robert Mueller. Rosenstein directs Mueller and needs to endorse the majority of his subpoenas, his testimonies, and his arraignments. Rosenstein should be non-divided and fair, yet truly he has profound family and budgetary associations with the Clintons, Obama and the Democratic Party. It is dishonorable that Rosenstein's exceptional irreconcilable circumstance has been permitted to go ahead without being gotten out by the predominant press. The media has sat on this data and declined to promote it. How has it been permitted to happen? Numerous individuals ask why the media is so hostile to Trump. Thus genius Democrat and professional Mueller in their scope of the exceptional examination. The appropriate response is that the media are the offended parties. The media was in on this from the begin. The entire connivance to outline Trump for something he didn't do, plotting with the Russians, was kickstarted by the media. The prevailing press are not only writing about the activities of the political tip-top, or, God disallow talking truth to power or considering the tip-top answerable. As the Hillary Clinton messages demonstrated, the media are working hand-in-glove with the Democratic Party Foundation to push their plan and assume a dynamic part in devastating their foes. The media knew the intrigue was subsidized by the Clintons and the Democratic Party. They realized that the wiretaps were likely unlawful. They realized that the Steele dossier was a heap of baloney. Be that as it may. They didn't report any of this. Why? Since they are personally engaged with the intrigue themselves, and they are ensuring profoundly traded off figures like Ron Rosenstein, 